So, today I was reading an article in the newspaper about half Japanese and half American people that live in Japan. Well, Okinawa the most. And the thing is, a lot of the half Japanese, half American people were complaining that um, the Japanese people didn't really accept them because they're half, they didn't look completely Japanese, da 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 da. But um, I never had that issue. In fact, I got a lot of compliments about it. So, I mean, I went to school in Japan for a little bit and everyone loved me. They treated me like, you know, them, themselves. So, this video is about identity. I hate that movie, by the way. Hate it. But this video is about identity. And there have been a few times that I questioned my identity. One of them, well, actually the person was wrong, not me. A few others, mm, really depends. But one time that I questioned my identity was when I, well, I don't rec I try not to remember it, but when I was four, I moved, because my father was in the military, we moved a lot. So when I was two, we moved to Oklahoma. When I was four, we moved to Florida. At that age, I was allowed to go to preschool. They wouldn't take me in at first because of my race and that I'm half Japanese and also the fact that I spoke another language and they thought my English wasn't good when actually I was bilingual by that point. Sure, my English wasn't perfect, but I was bilingual. I understood Japanese perfectly. I understood English perfectly. Still to this day, though, I do have problems with English. But that is the America we know now. Besides that point, so, I was like, I'm really different because everyone else knows one language compared to me as a four-year-old who knows two. And they made fun of me. They picked on me. So I eventually shut that Japanese side language skill off completely. I was monolingual by then which upset my mom deeply and she didn't understand why and she thought I hated her when really it was the school's fault because they did not have the children basically understand that not everyone is going to know one language. In fact, it's better for you to know different languages because now Spanish is quite prominent in America and even though I took French, I'm still picking up some Spanish. The only full sentence I know is no hablas español, because it's true, I don't speak Spanish, you know? And I don't know why I kind of have an accent. But that was my one identity crisis. I was like, oh, I'm not supposed to be different. I can't be different, because if I'm different, no one's going to accept me. Anyway, besides that point. So that was one time that I really didn't know what my identity was. Another time was, um, I guess, middle school. In middle school, a lot of people said, oh, Kumi's Asian, she's Japanese. Um, so she's smart. So we can cheat off of her on tests. Well, that's a problem because I'm not that smart. Like. A lot of people say I'm smart, but I personally think I'm not smart. Yes, maybe if I push myself a little bit, I would be a little smart, but I really don't care about tests. I think they're stupid. I mean, I really don't care. I really don't. Like, I seriously really don't care about tests. So, you know. So when people say, oh, Kumi's Asian, we can cheat off of her. And then me not being that smart, I was like, considering all Asians are considered smart, and I'm not smart, and I'm half American, so am I more American, or am I more Japanese? Because another issue is my mother didn't really teach me a lot of my roots, 
So, I mean, I'm very, you know, I mean, I know about the Japanese culture, but not as much as I wish I did. So I think middle school, especially ninth grade, was when I really didn't know whether I was Japanese, Asian actually, or American. So it's really sad to have that kind of, you know, uptick like, oh, I'm Asian, I have to be smart. But also I'm half American, so do I have to be smart? Or, you know, so. And then another time is when I went to my school in California, my boarding school. Another time I wasn't too sure about my identity was when a Japanese girl who was born in America, both of her parents were Japanese, but she was born in America, Michigan. She didn't consider me as half Japanese at all. She didn't even acknowledge the fact that I do have Japanese blood in me. In fact, she considered me American and purely American. But I was born in Japan. My mother is a Japanese citizen and I have duo citizenship. So she was actually a little out there. So trusting her judgment on things wasn't the best. She was a little wacko, basically. I mean, she was born in America, but both of her parents were Japanese. But I'm not considered any Japanese at all because I was born in Japan, my mother's Japanese, and my father is American, so I'm not considered Japanese at all. Which is really hard because it is tough. Because you really don't know. Because, you know, and in 8th grade, I was considered Japanese just because my name, half of me is Japanese, but a kid associate, because he, people associated me with the Japanese, a kid didn't like me because he said, oh, you bombed Pearl Harbor, I hate you, and I'm like, excuse me, I was not there during Pearl Harbor, and two, you can't hate me because my ancestors, who are actually Okinawan, and they were killed by their own people, you know, it's really the mainland people who bombed Pearl Harbor. I believe whether I'm half or not, I mean, I'm going to embrace it. I'm going to be like, yes, I'm half Japanese and I'm half American, but don't discriminate me because my other half. Don't say that you don't like me because I'm half Japanese. So I'm just putting it out there that, you know, like whatever people say, don't take it so harshly because really, I believe the half people have a better chance of surviving in the world and getting, getting somewhere compared to those that are all one. Because if you are Japanese, you're very secluded. If you're American, sure, you may have opportunities, but how many Americans out there know three languages? How many Americans out there know two languages fluently? Very small. Me being half, I know Japanese, English, and French. I'm currently learning German and a little bit of Italian. And how many people out there can speak more than one language? You know, I mean, I'm just saying. So, this is my identity crisis talk. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. Life's a life. So you're going to have to deal with it. People are asses sometimes, you know, whatever. So this video is quite long, but... Hope you guys, it opens some of your minds up. And I, I'd love to hear your comments, definitely. Okay, maybe I'll just stay. My lips. <laughs> okay, be serious.